Good evening, I'm Kara Marcin. I'm Brian Sanders. Here are your trending stories for Green Country tonight. New details in the recent resignation and criminal charges against the state health department's top attorney. An OSBI agent wrote in an affidavit that Julia Ezell sent threatening messages to her own official government email, then reported that to authorities. Ezell helped draft rules on medical marijuana, but cautioned the board against banning smokable marijuana and requiring a pharmacist at every dispensary. A well-known dog trainer accused of several counts of animal cruelty showed up to court today with two service dogs. Marjorie Satterfield waived her preliminary hearing stemming from a massive animal hoarding bust. In February, Tulsa County Sheriff's deputies found around 120 animals in her home. Deputies say Satterfield ran a dog training and kennel business. Her arraignment is now set for July 25th. More water woes for the city of Tahlequah. They just received new tests showing E. coli continues to plague the Town Branch Creek. They found higher levels of the dangerous bacteria today and say you shouldn't drink, swim, or do anything in the creek. They traced the contamination to the United Methodist Children's Home earlier this month. The group says they will hire a contractor to look at their entire sewer system to find the source. And a popular summer spot getting backlash online after a Facebook post is shared nearly 6,000 times. The water park fighting back. It started with a post claiming a person was infected with salmonella at the Whitewater Bay in Oklahoma City. The park responded saying this is a vicious rumor and 100% untrue. It's going to be another hot and steamy day for our upcoming Wednesday. Heat index values will make it feel around 105 to 110 across the area. Tomorrow afternoon in Broken Arrow, actually air temperatures in the mid 90s. Slight chance for a few isolated showers and storms, mainly early in the day. By afternoon, we'll begin to see some sunshine. Near 100 for both Saturday into Sunday, so a hot weekend ahead. 100 on Thursday, 102 on Friday, and then next week, hot and steamy as well.